Jeff Cross is welcoming friends to town for Derby. Two in one bedroom, two in another. Um, I had a sectional, so two on that. That's six. Living area, uh, obviously plenty of seating, um, entertainment system, TV. But these friends he's never even met. Uh, I went with the Craigslist route. And are paying 800 bucks a night to stay there. 2400 total. Uh, it was a three night minimum. He got the idea from friends who live in St. Matthews. This is the breakfast nook and the backyard. We've got a grill and... Ashley and Dominic Grotto have done this before. They're coming from New York, mm -hmm. I think, and they New York are City. eight. Cleaning up to host strangers. They're trusting with their home. I mean, people that are willing to pay that kind of money and sign a contract, and we also require that they pay up front. So we have a security deposit, plus we have all the money before they check in. So you think those kind of people really aren't going to come try to destroy your home. Front desk. Of course, derby goers can always go the traditional route. As far as a good, comfortable, clean place to sleep at night, we're right there. For how much? $1.99 a night, no minimum required. This hotel is raising its rates for derby, but it's unlike any other. As being a home for our homeless women and families, and then also a hotel available to the public. Guests and residents are on separate floors. Many staff members are homeless, but live and work at the hotel to earn money and get job experience. So how do the guests feel about this? Most people are perfectly fine. Um, over, We've been open now for about a year and a half. I believe we've had three folks who didn't want to stay. One hotel guest says he plans to stay for six months. I've been here two months, and I, I love this place. I could have gone anywhere. But there's God in this building, and there's a lot of good people here that are helping this community. This is our bridal suite. And for Derby, they're expecting folks from all over, including repeat customers from Ireland. Right there. Come on, kid. In the end, everyone needs a place to stay on Derby weekend. And it just takes a few creative ideas to figure out how to cash in. Whether it's staying at Hotel Louisville. I don't know. I mean, that's weird. But at the same time, like, if it's a good value, people are going to say, so what if it's a homeless shelter? It's a heck of a lot cheaper than staying at the Marriott, you know? Or opening up your home for the right price. And is it enough? Yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth Donatelli, Wave 3 News.